folks, we are back. That's right, we're back for another real pizza review by a real Italian, an authentic Italian, Frank Gallo. That's me. I bring it to you real. I don't pull any punches. I tell it like it is, regardless of who the people are that own it, whether they're nice or not nice. It doesn't matter to me. If the pizzeria is clean, it does matter to me. But nice or not nice, I don't care. I judge the pizza by the pizza and its quality and its flavor. Now, typically, when I walk into a place and the people are not nice or the place is not clean, I can tell right away that the pizza is probably not going to be good. But I give it a fair shot. I go by the taste. We're at a place today called A.T.'s A Pizza. Now, not to be mistaken with Abizza, which is New Haven style. This is New York style. It's just a, the name of the place, A.T.'s A Pizza. And they are located at 6714 North University Drive in Tamarack, Florida. Place has been here 40 years. Same family has owned it since day one. Now, let's take a look at their slice. Okay, here it is, folks. Here's their slice. I asked for it well done. There it is right there. You can see these marks here. I keep seeing these marks on the back of pizza, the raw spots. Again, that's an indication of something wrong with that oven. It's probably a really, really old oven. Now, you can see the sheen on the pizza right there. Okay, it's a little, little greasy, but I don't see any dripping off. Let's, let's give it the fold test. I fold it. Yes, it does break down the back here of the crust, but not much down the side here, not, not much down the spine. Now the grease is starting to drip off, okay? Once I broke it. Okay, so it tells me it might be a little soggy, but let me taste it, let me taste it. Here we go. Okay, it tastes the crust. Crust is nice and crunchy. It is a little on the greasy side. Let's break it down. Let me take a sip of soda here real quick. Okay, let's break this down. This is definitely a grande cheese. I can taste it. The sauce to cheese ratio is good. And the sauce is not bad. And the cheese is obviously grande, it's, it's, it's good. Um, the dough, right after the crust going forward to the tip of the slice, is a little soggy. And that means that uh, that it's not a 72 hour fermentation and it was probably sitting for a while. That's what happens when you buy by the slice. Sometimes uh, it'll be good and sometimes it won't. And But that's not the only indication of a good pizza. You should be able to get a slice of pizza, reheat it, and it should taste just as good as if it came off of a fresh pie. So I don't, I don't go by that nonsense. Again, um, it's one of those pizzas that will do uh, it's better than the place I just came from, as far as a pizza that will do. I would say that AT is a pizza, I'd have to give them, I can give them a 6-5. That's a real pizza review by a real Italian. AT's A Pizza, 6-5. That's my score. 